spirit within the Lord got this live stream thing jumping up. Right. Man. You see? Brothers, we just checking the feed, you know what I'm saying? Making sure it's coming through clear. So bear with us through the spirit. Oh, yeah, loud and clear. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, it is what it is. Hey, um, another great millstone. Give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere actors, man. Keep pushing, keep believing. When God's with people here for a bear. Another lesson through the Spirit was able to get up, link up through the Spirit of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. So what better way, you no know, Sandy, to bring out a lesson? You know That's what I'm right. saying? That's right. You know, got the brother Kabai with me. You know, right. some of the brother Hawaii. We just want to go into pretty much an open forum on how, like, everybody's comfortable, man. Yeah. You know, cottage just started down here in the Carolinas, and I'm pretty sure throughout the um throughout America, yeah, pretty much. Country, yeah. yeah, the whole country. Cottage just started, you no know, sense. So everybody, there, matter of fact, bro, get the wisdom of this world, bro. Mm, yep. You know, everybody's relying on the wisdom of this world, getting in the heavy debt. You know what I'm saying, bro? Getting into heavy debt, eighty thousand, hundred thousand dollars before the end of this year, bro. Right. Debt, you know what I'm saying? And you ain't learned nothing, man. Right. <laughs> Our people spending all this money, mainly these heathens, but you got Jake's, Nick Rose, Latinos, and Eddie McKinney's spending all this money, man, mm -hmm. on college degrees and um, what is it, bro? Um, like when you go through the, like a year of college, different sessions or something like that. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Yeah. Uh, sessions. Yeah, no yeah. saying. Look, spending all this money, no <laughs> saying, all this nonsense, man. Just not knowing that this place is out of here soon. Coming, shout a warm. No saying to all this sincere I can just tuning in, man. Right. You know, oh yeah, trying to get bachelor's degrees like the brother Isaac said. Shout a warm, shout a warm. Oh yeah, different semesters. Yeah, Each semester, yeah. no saying you spending thousands of dollars mm -hmm. for just a semester in college. We want to prove according to the Bible that college is nonsense, man. This one is eight thousand a year. Oh yeah, we front of we we in front of um, North Carolina State University. Yeah. It's a what, bro? It's eight eight grand a year to go here. Eight grand a year, no saying. So you put no saying times four, no saying that's fucking what, bro. That's eight the, times four. That's thirty-two. Yeah, no saying. On top of expenses. Yeah, on so a good. thousand, man. Yeah. Dollars in debt, man. <laughs> We're gonna show you Israelites that this is not your rest, man. Come on. Let's get it, bro. Uh, this is First Corinthians three and nineteen. For the wisdom of this world is foolish with the Most High. Yeah, the wisdom of this world, the college degrees. Oh yeah, look, thirty-two thousand. You know what I'm saying dollars in debt, bro. You know what I mean? Come on. Then you got people going to college for like four more years. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Would you yep. say it's eight thousand a year? Yeah. It's more than that, though, bro. Yeah, because yeah, you know, yeah, you, you, you get them books and housing. Yeah, no, that, that's just the uh, uh, tuition. Oh, yeah, the dude that I work with, you no, know, so he said he uh, spent like four or five hundred dollars just on books. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And that's just the, the immediate books, you know what I'm saying? Yep. That ain't all the books that she really, and then all the everybody just come to college just to be whores and sluts, man. Oh, everybody yeah. naked walking through here, man. Exactly. Are you seeing the skin, flesh, everybody away from home? What the scripture say again, bro? Yep, this is first Corinthians 3 and 19. Right. For the wisdom of this world is foolish with the most high. Look at people, look at the wisdom of this world just jogging around, you know right. what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> Doing nothing, spending all this money, you know. Right. Spending all this money on books, learning nothing, man. Nice. And bro, whole um you know the whole Isaiah 33 and 6. Six. See, the wisdom of this world is foolishness to the most high, man. Yep. Being a college professor, you know what I'm saying, bro, going to college to be a doctor and all that. Yep. Uh, ain't nothing but a bunch of retards over here, man. I'm looking at a bunch of retards over here, bro. You That's know what I right. mean? That's a bunch right. of lost souls, man. They don't know what the hell going on, man. That's right. They think going to college is their way out, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. They think they're going to get 50 stinking rich, man. Going to college, man. And you know, and you know it's going to be the kingdom going to be loving it too, though, right, bro? <laughs> the kingdom going to be loving it too, Come man. On. Yeah, right there. You know what I'm saying? The yep. kingdom going to be loving it, yep. yo. But hey, look, man, the wisdom of this world is foolish to the most high. Mm -hmm. That's why when we come out there with the knowledge that we got according to the Bible, we can find these college students That's and right. their professors, bro. That's right. And they got the wisdom of this world, which which don't help you do nothing, man. That's right. I know people that went to college, yo, and they're not even in their profession. Mm -hmm. they're, they're at Burger King and McDonald's, man. Yeah. Go ahead. This is Isaiah 30. Oh, yeah. Ecclesiastes 12 and 12. Okay. Like minded. Okay. Matter of fact, I get that right quick. Speak yeah. right quick, bro. Yeah, man, because you know this thing, this the wisdom of this world is uh is promoted from the time you reach uh kindergarten all the way up to you in twelfth grade, man. Mm -hmm. And they promote you to, to learn more uh, uh bull crap, man. Yep. You know, teach you pretty much to become a better slave. That's it. Ecclesiastes chapter twelve, verse twelve, and further by these my be admonished 
of making many books, mm -hmm. there is no end. Mm -hmm. You go to reading all these books, getting into these different colleges and things of that nature, man. And, yo, it start driving you crazy, man. Yeah. See, going to college uh, takes you away from um, studying the Bible too, mm -hmm. cause you see how much college is gonna take all your time up, man. Yeah. No time to do now. You better get in rest, bro. Yep. This college thing, you know what I'm saying, takes up all you Israelites' times, man. Right. And the scriptures say, by these, you know what I'm saying, is a weariness of flesh, man. That's you right. up late nights studying. Mm -hmm. you, you get into all of these books, you know what I'm saying? These books teach you to um, go against the words of the Bible. Yep. You know, the, yep. the, this college, college really teaches you uh, to be YOLO. Yeah. You only live once nonsense, yep. right? Yep. You live young and be free. And then these colleges just party, party, party. These colleges right. is just that party spirit, man. It's like self-worship. Cause that's what everybody based their life upon. Like mm -hmm. they look at you on um, what you did, what was your accomplishments in life, yeah. you know? Yeah. Once again, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 12. And further by these, my son, be admonished, meaning be aware, right? Mm -hmm. Of making many books. There is no end. Cause these books right here teach you to get into Islam. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hinduism, um, Catholicism, and all that, man. Kemet. That's what these yeah, Kemet. That's what these colleges promote, man. Oh, yeah. Um, black history. Yeah. Well, there ain't no such thing as black history. You know right. what I'm saying? They get into that little African, your African, right. African studies and all this other nonsense, man. You know, they, they teach you to get back into the African doctrine, bro. You know what I'm saying? Get back into your culture. You know what I'm saying? With the right. bones and all that, bro. When well, that ain't even us, right? <laughs> right. It says, um, there is no end. Once you go to reading them books, yo, you're going to just keep reading and yep. reading and reading and reading. It yep. ain't no end. And you're going to get farther and farther away yep. from the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, right? That's right. It says, um, and look, and much study. Because mm -hmm. you know, in these colleges, you do much studying, mm -hmm. man. You're around the clock. You went to college, you can, you can speak on it. Yeah, man. You know, it's like you, you burn the midnight oil in vain, man. Right. And vanity. If you're going to burn the midnight oil, why not do it for your house by seeing me out a shot? Right. Studying, reading, doing lessons, okay? Seeking the heavenly father is what we're supposed to be doing, man. Not seeking the ways of, of this world going to college, you know? That's a beautiful point, too, bro. Instead of seeking college, we need to be seeking your how about Shimei man, mm -hmm. and learn of his ways, right? Mm -hmm. It says, and much study is the weariness of flesh, man. That's why everybody that come up that has been to college, for the most part, books up against the words of the Bible, man. Mm -hmm. How do you know that's true? That book was written by men. Well, hell, the books you're reading in college was written by men. Exactly. You know? The only thing, the main thing and the only thing about this book right here, the King James Version of the Bible, it was um, inspired by Yahweh by Shimei That's right. Men was moved by the Rekakwa Dot. Look, skateboarding. They don't teach you nothing, man. <laughs> Jeremiah 10 and 2, thus saith the Lord. Get yeah, get that for me, bro. Yep. And still hold what you got because I want to finish yep. that, though. Yep, this is Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2. It reads, going into heavy debt, got your daddy and your mama in heavy debt, trying to send your black ass to college. You know what I'm saying? Your black, brown, and tan yeah. ass to college. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. I, uh, just side note, what you just said, um, you know, one of my family members, they, they worked, uh, two jobs. They were retired. They worked two jobs just to send their, uh, their daughter off to college, man. Right. And, and to pay for everything. And they, and they still owe from loans, man. She that one Jake, you no know saying lady. She said, you "No know saying, honey, her husband two hundred thousand dollars in debt, bro. You ain't gonna never come up out of that debt, man. Trying to live the American life, bro. Trying to live the American dream, which is really our people gonna find out it's a nightmare, man. Mm -hmm. Should have been focused on this word, man. Plus, the word college means higher learning. You don't learn nothing in these institutes, man. Right. The Lord gave the word, yes, yeah, Psalm sixty-eight and um, what is it, bro? Sixty-eight and um, eleven. Yeah, I get it." Yeah, that's it. Psalm 6, 8, and 11. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. It's up here already. Okay. Yeah. You're going to read that, though, bro. Make your statement if you're going to make one. No, I was it. Yeah, go ahead. Then, Psalm 6, 8, 11. The Lord gave the word. So you can roll down your window just a little bit more. Okay. It yeah. says, you know, the Lord gave the word. Right. It says, great was the company company of those that published it. Right. So the men that went out there, you know what I'm saying, published the word. Mm -hmm. I mean, they went out there and taught it. Great was those men. Those are great men. You know, you got great starting off with our apostles and the elders of great millstone. Those are great men out there teaching the words of your house. But Shemel was shot. We inspired by the Lord to go out there and teach this word. And the men that wrote these scriptures down, they was inspired, man. That's right. You know, it says, when I was in. Yeah, go back to um, wisdom of this world. Was, you want a Jeremiah? Yeah, get that Jeremiah first and then the wisdom of this huh. world one more time. This is uh, Jeremiah 10 and 2. 
Cause you see everybody to go to college, but they look at the man that didn't go to college and shit. Mm-hmm. They look dad like they better than him mm-hmm. and shit. Like I didn't go to college, so my whole life, everybody that I hung around or pretty much knew, you know what I'm saying, they went to college and shit like that. Mm-hmm. So they would look at me like, damn, mm-hmm. he ain't really did nothing mm-hmm. in life. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got no mm-hmm. college experiences. He ain't got nothing to talk about. He ain't got, he ain't talking about all the girls he laid in the dorm room and all yeah. that snuck in, snuck out, all yeah. the frat parties and all that, which is all witchcraft, man. Right. You know? Them frat parties and all that. It's right. all witchcraft. You know what I'm saying? I know, right? Go ahead, though, bro. Yeah, man. This that's is, all it teach, man. Yep. This is uh, Jeremiah 10 and 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, right. O house of Israel. Which consists of these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. Mm-hmm. And plus, the, the men of our nation, they only go to college just to pop these women, that's man. It, man. You can't fuck with all those women running around halfway naked in these college dorms and all that, all right. in the, you know, different buildings and all that. Right. Come on, man. You ain't focusing, man. Right. <laughs> the spirit got to really be on you to even graduate college, man, because the only thing you can be thinking about is these women, yo. That's right. Trying to freak them off, man. That's, That's right. the only reason why they go to college anyway, man. Yep. Go ahead, bro. In Jeremiah 10 and 2, it says, Thus saith the Lord, <laughs> learn not the way of the heathen. Right. The scriptures tell us, learn not the way of the heathen. Who are the heathen of these other nations, man? Mm-hmm. The Chinese, Japanese, the so-called white man, the doodle eating African. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Mostly armpit smelling Arabs. You know what I mean, bro? Indian. Oh, yeah. The diehead East Indian. Mm-hmm. And so forth for so on, man. Those are considered the heathens. One's supposed to be learning their ways, like celebrating right. Christmas. See, college promotes all that nonsense, yep. man. Look, college promotes you to be rebellious against your parents too, yep. man. You know, Proud. you're you're grown. Oh yeah, most definitely pride Proud. go before destruction, bro. Yeah. Go ahead. It says Jeremiah ten and two. Thus saith the Lord: Learn not the way of the heathen, right? And be not dismayed the signs of heaven, right? For the heathen are dismayed at them, right? So pretty much the scripture saying, don't learn the ways of the heathen, man. Mm-hmm. Spending all that money on college, man. And these women, these um, the parents don't know their kids out here dressed like that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying, bro? Exactly. You know, I mean, literally, literally nothing, bro. Right. Every last one of them. Everybody, don't, everybody come out the dorm like, yo, this one I'm wearing, right? Well, they go all shop at the same stores. Yep. It's, a, it's just a money scheme, yo. Yep. Money getting rich scheme, man. Just keep you docile, yo. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. The scriptures tell us conform not to the ways of this world, man. That's right. Go ahead, bro. This is uh first Corinthians three nineteen. Yeah. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high. Right. For it is written, he taketh the wise and their own craftiness. Yeah, so reading all them different books, going to these different pre- prestige colleges like North Carolina, you know what I'm saying? North Carolina State, Duke University, the University of Syracuse, and then the University of Michigan, you know what I'm yeah. saying, bro? All these prestige colleges, Hillman. Yep. You know, uh what's some other ones? Uh the apostle the apostle, yeah, Spellman. Uh, um, Morehouse, yeah, Morehouse, Howard, Howard, uh, 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 yeah, the one that the Apostle Bill Bar them be uh, uh, was in front of one now, Yale, con- condemning, yeah, Yale, Brown University, yeah, all, all look, man, Ivy League schools, all look, uh, promotes nonsense. Look, he got banged up already. That's what I'm saying, man. Right. He should have transformed them, saying flew out, flew out <laughs> before it got banged up, right? Yeah, that's that's it. Harvard, yeah, Harvard, <laughs> and all that other nonsense, man. That's right, you know. This wisdom don't promote nothing, man. But death, really, man. That's death right. and debt. That's right. Death and debt, man. Cause you gonna leave up out of this world with heavy debt, man. Nobody gonna be able to pay it off. That makes no sense, man. I got pre for yeah. you. This is Proverbs nine and, and, and ten. Right. It says, uh, yeah, in ten. It says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Right. See, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. College, college don't teach you to fear the God of the Bible, man. Uh-uh. You know, this colleges don't teach you to fear the God of the Bible. You have a bunch of no shot. Look, but this Bible do. That's right. This Bible do. That's right. Go ahead. Yep. This is Psalms 9 and 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of not of wisdom. Right. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Right. And the knowledge of the holy, the knowledge of Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh Shai, the knowledge wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. Look, what did it say that last part is what? The knowledge of the holy is what? It says, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Right, because the only thing these people going to do all night, bro, just walk up and down the street. Yep. And this is what, Tuesday? Just imagine yep. how it's going to be on Friday or Saturday, bro. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Right. It ain't nothing. We just seen them already. Right. And then they on the other side now, doing them, with just walking, man. Right. All these people doing is walking. Look, America's about to be destroyed soon, come, man. All right. Get Micah 2 and 10, bro. Well, finish with you. You, you finish the wisdom yeah, of this world. Yeah, yeah that, that was it on that. Get um, Micah 2 and 10, bro. Okay. Yeah, college knows that make these people feel like they um better. Oh, do you know what that scripture, bro? He to think if he know if anything, when he is nothing. nothing. Yeah, uh, if you know what that said. 
or brothers can pull up. I can't even look it up on my phone or whatever. You can look it up on your phone. You want to? Nah, yeah. You know what I'm saying because these people think they some bro. Yep. He that is wise in this world, let him become a fool. Yep. That he may be wise. If brothers know what that scripture, put it up on the comment board. He that is wise in this world, let him become a fool. That he may be wise, and I'm just roughly paraphrasing. I might be pretty much spot on. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, you boss spot on. Yep. But it's just, it's just nonsense. You see how these people, um, the moves they make, man. And it's not wise at all. A prudent man foresee okay. the evil and hide of himself. Yeah, bring it out first, bro. Yep. It's the book of Proverbs 26. Oh, yeah, the brother put it in Galatians chapter 6, verse 3. That was another one. Yeah. Galatians chapter 6, verse 3. I can get it going with you. Come. This is Galatians chapter 6. Galatians chapter 6, verse 3. And it reads, For if if a man think himself to be something mm -hmm. when he is nothing, and that's, he just... Go ahead. And, that, and that's what uh, you see with the, the, these college kids, man. Right. You know, they go off the college, they see themselves to be, to be somebody. Right. They get into somebody because they're gaining the wisdom of this world. Right. You know? There's nothing really. And once again, um, Colossians, not even Colossians, um, Galatians, yeah. yeah. Galatians chapter 6. So we stay hype, man. Right. Galatians chapter 6, verse 3. For if a man or woman, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, think himself to be something, because mm -hmm. you, like you said, yo, this college, college teaches people to be very prideful, man. Yep. You know, very arrogant, right? Just poked out. Yeah. Because because most of these college students, especially these heathens, you know what I'm saying, their moms and daddies are professors uh -huh. and doctors and lawyers and things of that nature. Uh -huh. When you got Jake, you know what I'm saying, their parents struggling like hell to send them to college, bro. Yep. Parents struggling like hell to send them to college. I crack it a little bit. No, I'm turning on. Are you turning it on? Yeah, I'm turning it on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. I'm um, the other one. Love not the world. We'll get that. First on um, John 2 and 15. 15. Yeah, we'll get that. Yep. Yeah, it's a whole lot better, bro. Come yep. I, let me read this right quick one more time. Yep. Galatians. You really can't think when you're hot. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Know, right? Galatians. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So imagine how it was in South Sea. You know what I mean? <laughs> Galatians chapter 6, verse 3. Yeah. One more time. If for if a man think of himself to be something, when he is nothing, and that's the majority of these people, a yep. bunch of nobodies, man. But they yep. think they self to be somebody, right? That's right. Cause, Cause the world is teaching them that they some because they going to college, man. That's right. You know, they got these different um plaques and accolades and things of that nature. It says, um, he deceiving himself, man. That's you right. deceiving your own self, thinking you something just cause you got the wisdom of this world, man. Mm -hmm. You ain't nothing, man. Yeah. You ain't better than us, man. Yeah. We just read the wisdom of this world is foolish to the most high, man. That's right. He take the wisdom of the Bible, you know what I'm saying? And uh, especially Esau, cunt. The God of the Bible take the wisdom that we're preaching according to the Bible and confound the wisdom of the world, man. That's right. Go ahead, bro. Is it Proverbs 26 and 12. See his thou a man wise in his own conceit. Right. There is no, there is more hope of a fool than of him. Right. So so it's more hope for a man that don't got the knowledge. What well, you think this knowledge, you know what I'm saying, that they gain in the college is going to help them out when all hell break loose? Right. This college, college doesn't teach you about, um, like, being on your own. And, right. You know what I'm saying? I forgot the word just slipped my mind that quick, man. Independent. Independent. You know what I'm saying? Um, survival. Yeah. College don't teach you about survival, man. Right. When it's going get tough, the tough get going. Right. College don't teach you about that, man. Right. You know, you have to actually learn that, man. That's right. You got to actually be out there in that field, man. That's right. College teaches you, oh, yeah, I'm too good for that job. I want yeah. this job. Yeah. But then you end up working at McDonald's, yeah. man. I have and, a degree. Right. This, this, this is beneath me. Right. It's beneath, beneath me. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. College teach you to be, you know what I'm saying, above yeah. your grade. You know what I'm saying? That's right. You end up at McDonald's, Chick-fil-A somewhere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> can I help you? Can I take your order? Can I help you? And all that, you know? Right. I got that. Um. You, did you find that other one, bro? Um, let him become a fool. Uh, that he may be wise. You just read it. Nah, that, nah, that one it. Uh, that one it. Yeah, that one it. Uh, I'll find it. Can I read this one more time? Yeah, yeah go ahead. I got a definition. Yeah. It's uh Proverbs twenty six and twelve. Right. Seest thou a man wise in his own conceit? When you got to word conceit, it means uh, excessively proud of oneself. Mm-hmm. You know. Self regarding self. Look at what I did. Yeah. I did this. Yeah. I did that. When the scriptures yeah. say the Lord make it one poor and make it one rich. Kind the Lord killeth and make it for live, man. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Yuck. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Walk around though. Yep. So feeling that college life, man. Yep. Shit, every girl that I knew that went to college ended up being a whore, man. Yeah. You know? Yep. 
Oh yeah, that's it. First Corinthians three, three and eighteen. 18. The water, my brother. Like minded, you know what I'm saying? That brother always be coming through. Kind. You know what now, I'm saying? And while you grabbing it, I'll make a quick statement. Yeah. You know, that demon Kanye had a point, man. He, he had in one of his um, uh, rap songs, he said, um, you know, uh, she, the girl walked to college, but she won't drop out. Her parents will look at her funny. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now she down there doing hair. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what happened to these women, man. Yep. They get pregnant. You know what I'm saying? The next thing you know, they, they, they're dropping out and doing hair, man. Right. Yep. They should have been doing hair from the beginning. Yep. <laughs> would have been making more money. You wouldn't show them when they've been in debt. Exactly. This is on First Corinthians chapter three. Would you finish with that, bro? Yeah. What you had? Yeah, we we'll finish it out. Yeah. Uh, Proverbs twenty six and twelve. Seeing thou a man wise in his own conceit, there is more hope of a fool than of him. Mm hmm. Because the scriptures that I'm getting ready to read tells you that. You know what I'm saying? This is on First Corinthians chapter three, verse eighteen. Let no man deceive himself. Right. If any, if any man among you. Seems to be wise mm -hmm. in this world. Look, in this world, man. And that's the majority of these people. Yep. They wise in this world. You know yep. what I'm saying? Going to college, all them books, mm -hmm. all that studying, Worrying the stupid mind. conversations. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Sitting at the table eating lunch, talking about stupid nonsense, yep. man. You know? It says, um, if any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, mm -hmm. let him become a fool. That's right, a blockhead, a meatball. Say the scripture says more hope for a fool. That's right. Than for a college um That's right. student. That's you know right. what I'm saying? A person is walking around thinking they know everything. Yeah. It's more hope for a fool than them, man. That's right. It's more hope for a fool, bro, than them, man. That's right. The scripture's heavy, right? That's right. You know? It says, um, that let him become a fool mm -hmm. that he may be wise. Mm -hmm. Because what you read earlier on, the wisdom of this word is foolishness Foolish, to the yeah. most high. That was the next verse. Yeah. So all the thing we had to do is just jump up one, but it's all good, yeah. though. It's all good. I got this for you. Okay. This is on um, 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. Mm -hmm. Love not the world. Hey, look, and look, 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 the best comes throughout the Bible, man. But you ask any uh, 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 apple pie eating, baseball uh, uh, loving uh, 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 American. That you're supposed to love this world. Right. You're supposed to love this place called America, man. Right. But the scriptures tell us love not the world. Right. Man. And that was a bad back, scripture, brothers, just put up. But I'll keep going, bro. Going back to Acts 5th chapter, we're supposed to believe the most high rather than men. Right. That's right. Once again, 1 John chapter 2, verse um, 15. What was that? First, Second Peter? Right. Oh, yeah. That's right, man. You start your profession as early as possible, yeah. man. Yeah. You get, know? A, get a trade. You that's know what I'm right. saying? That's right. That's, 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 yes, you know what I'm saying? That's all to teach, y'all. That's all to teach, man. Folly, man. Yep. That's what the scripture say. Love not the world. That's right. You know? You're supposed to hate every false way, man. That's right. Different college uh, get you into all those different philosophies, bro. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, oh, yeah. You know, college promotes um evolution, too. Yeah, they do. You know what I'm saying? Science. Teaches our people that, they, yeah, science, science. falsely so called, yep. yep. as the scriptures say. Love not the world, mm -hmm. neither the things that are in the world. And what's in this world, man? The wisdom of this world, yep. man. Because we read in First Corinthians, the third chapter, it's foolishness, man. Yep. With the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, man. Why? Because for, first and foremost, they're not promoting them, man. Yeah. You know? And then you see these college kids, yo, it's always, you always got to keep up with somebody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This person got the new outfit, you got to keep up with them. Mm -hmm. It's just all about spending money, man. Yep. Every time you turn around, you got to keep up with the latest fashions, right, yep. bro? Yep. You know, you got to just be it, right? Yep. Look, look, you can't eat um, lunch from the calf, right? You got to go to these <laughs> restaurants and all that, right? Because if you eat lunch from the calf, then you must be poor, right? Yeah, you're a nobody. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah, they basically call us monkeys with their evolution stuff. Kind of like right. mine, you know that. Right. Go to trade school to do something. That's right. You know? And it's just going to be all night walking up and down the street doing nothing, bro. Just feel, these people feel like feeling themselves, man. Yeah, just like the days of Noah. Right. It says, if any man love the world, mm -hmm. the love of the Father is not in him. So now you is right, so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, because that's what this word is for. You got to consider this scripture, man. You got to consider this precept, man. Right. If you love this world, then the love of the Heavenly Father is not in you. Right. So you got to reevaluate yourself with them. Do I love going to college? You know, do I love uh, 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 the wisdom of this world? You got you to gotta examine yourself and, th and think about that, right. man. Oh yeah, the scripture said where a man's um, treasure is, that's where his heart will yeah, be. Yeah, Matthew the sixth chapter. Oh yeah, is you holding that one? Uh, Prove a man for see if the evil. Ah, no, let me get it. Yeah, get that from me, bro. I'll finish reading this. It says, okay. um, love. I read the whole thing again. Okay. 
It says, um, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. I want to go to college. Right. I want to right. become a better person. Right. Say, Why well, can't go to college? Going to put you in heavy debt, man. <laughs> no heavy debt. Neither the things that are in the world. Right. Money, cars, clothes, and holes. Look, these, most of these people are trying to go to college to become um, famous, bro. That's right. Actors, clothes designers, yep. things of that nature, which ain't nothing wrong with designing clothes, but, you know, Esau get a hold of it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. They're going to make you uh, put some demonic nonsense on the clothes, yep. you know? Yep. Especially if you want him to, to help promote you and give you that start. You know what I'm saying, bro? That's right. Because it's all about give and take, right? That's you, it. You want me to so talk? It ain't about what you know. It's about who you know. You know That's what I'm saying? Right. And the majority of these people, man, ain't going to get no job, man. Okay. Like Martin off Thomas, uh, like Thomas, Tommy off Tom, Martin. Tommy you ain't got no job. You oh, know what I'm saying? So the majority of these people ain't going to get no job when they graduate from college, <laughs> man. They don't get no job, man. Right. Hey, your parents are heavy day. The only, thing, only job you guys working at McDonald's. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yep. He says, um, if any man love the world, the love of the father is not in him. For all that is in the world, mm -hmm. the lust of the flesh yep. and the lust of the eyes. That's right. Going back, going back to what we just we were just talking about, man. Look, you go off to college, this is a number, lust of the eyes, man. Look, we have seen enough uh, uh, uh women walking up the street yep. with nothing on. Yep. How much more would they go to class, man? Right. You know what I'm saying? All them frat parties and all this other yeah. nonsense. Yeah. Tommy, you ain't got no job. You know what I'm <laughs> saying, bro? You know. Oh, yeah, these women walking around all promiscuous. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Messing with this dude um, one semester, messing with the next man the next semester. Yep. And say, no, she didn't got a name for herself, right? Yep. It says, um, and this is the heavy part, bro. And the pride of life is not of the father, but it's of the world. Yeah, and the pride of life, man. You know, you can't tell uh, a college student nothing, man. Right. You know, they've, they've been uh, built up with pride. Yep. Especially if we even making it into a college. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They come back home, you know what I'm saying, every semester and brag about what they're doing in college when the people that can't afford a college just yeah. sitting at home with a regular job, you know what I'm saying, yeah. they come back being boastful and proud about, yeah. you know what I'm saying, their uh, accomplishments and yeah. all this nonsense when it ain't really nothing, yeah. right? And look, and you still working in the factory mill, yeah. man? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Looking down on their cousin or their yeah. brother. You know man, what I'm saying? They didn't make it, they man. They didn't make it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It says, and look, and the world passeth away. And this world passeth away, man. Yeah, the so-called white man's age. Rulership, yeah. Yep. You look at that word world, you know what I'm saying? The Greek is aeon, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Or eon, which means age. Yep. This rulership, man. D man, this kingdom is about to be over with soon come, man. It's finished. When the missiles come, the majority of our people are going to be in heavy debt, man. That's right. You know? Oh, yeah, tell us on what you doing now. You know what I mean? Right. You know, like the brother said, you know, I'm at the factory now. The, uh, the brother said he had the factory Cut. now. This is to the word. Shalom, my Shalom brother. Shalom. You see? Kwam Yasha Allah. You That's know what I'm right. saying? It says, and, and the world passes away, mm -hmm. and the lust thereof. But go ahead. And the, and, the, and the lust thereof, man. You know, everything that you lust after these women, the the, 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 the with, wicked, uh, wicked wisdom of this world, right. it's all going to pass away, man. That's right. It's not going to, the wisdom of this world is not going to help you get on a chariot, man. Right. You know what I'm saying, bro? Right. It says, and the lust thereof, look, but he that doeth the will of the Most High, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. abideth forever. But he that doeth the will of the Heavenly Father, man, burning the midnight oil for the Heavenly Father, right. man. Not for this vanity uh, 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 degree, it's not going to uh, uh, profit you nothing, man. You know? That's right. Oh yeah, the brother knows saying like money. Yeah, yeah, that brother stay he stay on flames. Stay on fire, let, me, right? let me just bring this right quick, bro. Okay, come on, come on. This is on um, Proverbs chapter 22. And um three. Nah, six. We'll we'll get three. Let me just okay, bring okay, six okay, right okay. quick. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Beautiful, man. That's that's a beautiful scripture. Yeah, and that's what we supposed to be doing as Israelites, man. Mm -hmm. Train up our and that's one of the reasons why we're in the predicament that we're in, right. man. Right. Cause we fell away from that, man. Right. We're supposed to be training our, our our children up in a way where they will uh in, in this truth, man, right. this faith. So they want to part for it. If they know it is true, they know. Look, okay, the wizard brothers were foolish. Right. Let me uh get a trade. You know, like the bro was saying about being a carpenter. Yeah. You know, uh, 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 doing something when you fix it on cars. Um, or something. You know, you know, do a uh, AC. Uh, oh like, yeah. You know, Let me works. just say this, bro. College promotes homosexuality. Too. It does too. You know what I'm saying. Gender equality and all this yeah. nonsense, yeah. Yeah, all the sororities and yeah. uh, 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 fraternities, stuff like yep. that you mentioned earlier. Yeah, man. We're supposed to, we're supposed to teach our kids about, the, about our high holy days, you know what I'm saying? Right. We're supposed to teach our kids about the law, statutes, and commandments of this Bible, man. That's we're supposed right. to train them up, man. That's we're supposed right. to let our men of our nation know, yo, go out there and get you a wife, man. Yeah. You know? That's right. Get you a wife. We're supposed to teach our daughters, you know what I'm saying? Look, get you a husband. 
right. not get another the, the same sex, man. That's, That's right. nonsense, man. That's right. The kingdom gonna be beautiful though, man. Yeah, once it. this place go, man, we got to worry about this, man. Right. Train up a child once again. Proverbs chapter twenty-two, verse five. Train up a child in the way he should go, which America don't push that, man. Uh, I look shit. The colleges train up. You know what I'm saying these kids how Esau want them to be. You know what I'm saying, bro? I got some real quick. Go ahead. It says train is a verb. It says teach a person or an animal a particular skill or mm. type of behavior, right? Conduct. And look, the, the Bible teaches our people how to conduct themselves, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the scripture teaches us to fear, man, mm -hmm. to fear the God of the Bible. But and look, America don't push that, though, man. That's right. You know, it's supposed to be telling our people that the Lord is coming back soon. Come right. and look, look, come out of the mind state of this wicked, sinful kingdom right. called America, man. You know, right. The, when I look, when we don't teach our kids, you no, know, say our children do as thou will, man. That's the, right. the Alice the Crawley nonsense, man. <laughs> right. But these witches and warlocks, man, that's all like them different buildings that be surrounding the colleges and all that. Yeah. Them be witches and warlocks, like right down and down the street, yeah. that big obelisk. Yeah. You got these different obelisks. Can't forget that. You got an obelisk right here, you know what I'm saying? NC State, man. Right. You got a big giant obelisk, man. Right. When they go, like right before the kids graduate, they take all their rings and put it inside that obelisk, bro. And then they light the top of the obelisk red. We're going to do a lesson on I got all the paperwork, God. Lord will, real God. soon, man. God. And the last uh, yeah. synonym, it says educate. See? <clears throat> so that's what we're supposed to do, man. From the time that uh, our children are able to walk and talk, we're supposed to be educating them on these scriptures, on right. the wisdom of the Bible, man. Because going back to Isaiah 33 and 6, it's going to keep us stable, man. Yeah, because when you look up that word educate, it means to bring yep, bring out yep. from within. You know what yep, I'm saying? Yep. Whatever's in you, you bring it out, man. That's right. So we're supposed to already have the knowledge That's to right. bring it out to our kids, and then they bring it out to their kids, and then so forth and so on, and legacy continue, man. That's right. But not here in America, man. We yep. discontinue from our heritage, yep. from being rebellious, man. Yep. Now, now we're going through it. Now our kids all wrapped up in the world, man. Mm -hmm. They were, our people are training their kids up in the in the wisdom of of America of, of Esau, man. Oh yeah, college teaches the women. You know what I'm saying to be promiscuous. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying don't um don't settle for mm -hmm. just one man. Yeah. You know. Uh, once yeah. again, like you mentioned earlier, college teaches um these women to be independent. Yep. You don't need a man. You can go out there and get you a job. You don't need a man. All right. All right. When all hell break loose, if that degree, hold that degree up when them martial law troops <laughs> kick that dough in. Hold that, hold that master's degree up. Hold that um bachelor's degree. You know what I'm saying? Whatever degree you got, right. hold it up when all hell break loose, man. That's you know? Right. Jeremiah 422, that's yep. right. And since I got it already, I read it already, bro. Okay. Proverbs chapter 22, verse um three. A prudent man. Mm -hmm. A wise man. Right. We got the word prudent, it means a wise man. Right. Foresee if the evil. Mm -hmm. It's gonna foresee if the evil, man. He's gonna see that trap that's being laid before him, man. And the and the wisdom of this world is a trap for our people, man. Cause we see it, cause we watching. Yep. You know I'm saying our eyes wide open, man. Mm -hmm. That's how you see what's going on, man. But our people are blind to the fact of what's going on, bro. That's why I don't see nothing, man. That's right. You know. That's right. Yeah, in that day, seven women shall grab hold to one man. That's right. And number seven is completion, man. Mm -hmm. And look, man, in this world, it's just this city alone is flooded with them, man. That's right, man. That's right. You know, this city alone is flooded, brothers. Okay. Every city is flooded. And they're going to come out the wood where it's like Apostle Gabar. I always harp up on it, man. But it's going to have to actually um get big, giant trees. Right. I don't know if brothers can see the tree over there by that light, you know what I'm saying, in front of us or whatever. <laughs> but brothers going to have to grab trees like that just to beat these women off of us, man. Lord willing, we have that number, man. That's right. You know? That's right. So a prudent man foresee the evil. Mm -hmm. Them bad times, bro. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Um, famine. Hold up that degree when that famine pop off. That's you know right. what I'm saying, bro? That's right. When martial law and cannibalism, race riot. race riot, when these different animals get out the zoo, That's hold right. that hold that bachelor's degree up. Right. You know what I'm saying, bro? That's to right. a grizzly bear. Hold That's it up. Right. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> Look, you got a fucking hyena chasing you. <laughs> hold that, hold that bachelor's degree up, man. <laughs> you know? That associate's degree. I had a 4.0. Right. I got I got a 3.6 GP. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? Rawr, rawr, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? The spirit's created for vengeance. You know what I'm saying? Hold it up, man. Okay. It says, a prudent man foreseeth the evil right. and hideth himself. And where does he hide himself at, man? In the scriptures, right. man. Right. That's why our people are supposed to be hiding themselves at, man, because the times we were in are evil, man. That's right. You know what the scripture says in Ecclesiastes, the third uh, third chapter, man? Time for peace, time for war. We're in a time of war, right. man. Right. Not the time to be going off to college and right. trying to make it here in America. Just walking up and down the street all day, not doing nothing, feeling themselves, man. These people right. feeling themselves, bro. You know they feeling themselves. You know what I'm right. saying? Home, home alone too. Right. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. All home right. alone. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. You know, 
It says, it says um, but the simple pass on and are punished. But the simple, man, the simple, like the scripture said, I learned what I simple ones love simplicity. Right. Man. And this is simplicity, the wisdom of this world, man. Right. Oh, yeah, they despise this word, bro. Man, you know what I'm saying? The scriptures tell you, Proverbs 13 and 13, he that despises this word Amen. shall be destroyed. Right. They don't despise the nonsense that these college professors are teaching That's them. That's right. But they despise this word. So they're going to be destroyed, man. The majority of these people are going to be destroyed soon come, bro. Okay. You know? It said the simple um, pass on and are destroyed, bro, and are punished. That's right. With everything that the God of the Bible is bringing, man. Look, that's why the God of the Bible got us around the clock doing lessons, bro. Live stream damn near every day, every bro. Day. Or every other day. But most definitely yep. videos. Edification is coming out, man. That's right. Trying to build our people up. Trying to build the nation of Israel up. But only the elect, you know what I'm saying? The word is only for the elect of the nation of Israel anyway, man. Time. You know? Oh, yeah, you can get that mic. You have something? Yeah, I was looking for somebody. Yeah, you can get that mic right quick. Time. Oh, yeah, let me bring this out, bro, before you bring that mic out. Time. I just thought of something through the spirit. It's all the spirit and, anyway. And, 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 you know, like you were saying, these videos we do only for the elect of the nation of Israel, man. Which consists of the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, man. That's what right. we do it for, man. That's, a, that's right. That's right. Plus, we do it for ourselves we're trying to make it. Huh? So, they said faith without works is dead, man. Right. We show our faith by doing this work. This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 5. A wise man will hear. Not a not a fool, not a blockhead, not a meatball, but a wise man, a prudent man. Mm -hmm. It's what? That's right. It says, um, a wise man will hear. Will hear, man. Will hearken. You that's know? right. That's why the Lord gave us two ears, man. But this is talking spiritually, man. Right. Because we all got two ears physical to hear. This is talking spiritually, man. That's right. Yeah, because the majority of our people are not trying to know, saying, take heed, man. It said, it said, the scripture say, happy is the man that find of wisdom, bro. That's right. Supposed to be tickled to death, man. And you women supposed to be just as happy, too. That's but mainly right. the men. But these women supposed to be happy too. These Israelite women, they're supposed to be happy when they hear the word too. Because it right. teaches them how to conduct themselves. It teaches them how to seek salvation too. That's right. But our people don't want to be saved. That's why I'm um, 3 6 Mafia can't. Don't save <laughs> her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. That's fuck. true. I want to be saved. <laughs> they don't want to be saved, man. They love Esau, man. That's right. <laughs> so, so once again, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 5. A wise man will hear. That's not right. a fool, not a blockhead. Because right. fools despise wisdom and instruction, right? Gun. They're too worldly. Like the brother yep. said, yep. these women too worldly, man. That's right. All hell got to break loose first, man, yep. for them, for, for us, even a little bit of them to submit, you know? That's right. That small little remnant of them to submit, you know? There's too right. much going on, man. Gun. Esau is throwing too much wickedness at them, yep. bro. So yep. they, they don't want to stop, man. Yeah. You they know? Like too comfortable. They want, like the brother said, they want Esau to save them, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. that's you, bro. Yeah, that's you. Bouncing around right, right. Everywhere. It's all good, though. It says, and will increase in learning. And a wise man will increase in learning. Right. The wisdom and knowledge to understand these scriptures, man. Right. That's what a wise man going to do. Why? Because he's he's, he's uh, uh, foreseeing the evils. Right. Man. You You're going to hear the man of the Lord say, get your act together, man. This place is going to be destroyed soon. Come. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bro, hold um, Ecclesiastes, bro, 9 yep. and 12. Yep. You know? Cause these people think they got up forever yeah. You just walk around doing nonsense. Nah, man, your number is gonna get called soon. Come, That's your right. how about Shemel Shai is gonna ring your bell soon. Mm -hmm. Come, man, ring my your bell, bell, my bell. <laughs> you know, everything is spiritual, man. Okay. Since even Solomon, who was the wisest man, look, pray for more wisdom. Yep. Pray for more wisdom. That's right. Before he even got the riches, man, he prayed for wisdom, man. Okay. You know. And you how about Shimmy? I was shy to all this and said, I can, man, tuning in, man, becoming wiser through the scriptures of you how about Shimmy? I was shy. So I'm going to read it again, bro. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 5. A wise man will hear mm -hmm. and will increase learning. That's right. Not a fool, but a wise man is going to increase in learning, man. And he's not going to increase in learning in the ways of this world, man. The right. wisdom of this world is going to be through these scriptures, man. Right. It says, and a man of understanding shall obtain unto wise counsel. Mm -hmm. Shall obtain unto wise counsel, man, which is this word, man. Right. You know, they're going to hold on to it, man. That's right. Every time you turn around, you're going to be trying to find a man of the Lord yeah. so you can learn more. Yeah. T what, what does this scripture mean? What yeah. does that, that scripture mean? Look, yeah. you said I, I can't eat pork. Can you show me what it said in the scriptures? Right. You know, things of that. And then you said I can't mess with Tyrone, baby mama down right. the street. Give me a scripture on there, brother. Uh, uh, why can't I worship, uh, be a chemist? You know right. What I'm saying? Why can I be a more again? Right. You know? He's going to increase in learning, man. That's right. You know? And he's going to become stable, more stable, because all hell's about to break loose, man. Mm -hmm. That was it. Kind of. Is that the other one? 
This is Ecclesiastes 9 and 12. Yeah. It says, for man also know of not his time. But these people walk around like they're going to um, do they love four years yeah. of college. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Get them a, um, a booming career. Right. And then move up, you know what I'm saying, a penthouse. You yeah. know what I'm saying? When they say, bro, they finally got a piece of the pie, right? right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Move on right. up right. to the big leagues. <laughs> they think they're going to move up to the big leagues, man. Nah, man. A missile is coming, man. That's right. You know? Gun. Saying to George Jefferson, man. <laughs> you ain't got four years, man. I will write this out. You ain't got four more years, man, to try to get your degree, man. Gun. You know? Read it again, bro. This is Ecclesiastes 9 and 12. Right. For man also know of not his time. Right. Man don't know his time. But these people think they do, you know? Mm -hmm. Spending all this money going into heavy debt. The, the dollar about to crash, my man. That's right. Oh, yeah. I need to turn it up soon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah face sort of thing. Yeah, face it us. Let's go up. This don't go up that way. Nah, you gotta push the money. Yeah, it's all good. Let's get me. Yeah. So lock your brothers. <laughs> Little malfunction, you know what I'm saying? But it's all good. We probably gonna have to um, get the lesson in the field. Let's get that right quick, though, bro. That's Ecclesiastes 9 and 12. For man also know not his time as the fishes that are taken in an evil net and as the birds that are caught in the snare. And that's what's going to happen, man. Our people are going to get caught up in a trap. And these other nations, man. He ain't caught up in that trap soon come, man. AKA martial law is going to come down heavy on these people soon come, that's man. That's right. And the whole brothers can hear us, but we had to turn on the air. You know what I'm saying? So the um, battery won't keep overheating in the phone. There's and another scripture the brothers have put up too, but it went past. And that's another... Uh, pay, these pastors these churches are going to pay too, man. Because they're not warning our people, man. The wisdom of this world is foolish, man. Second Peter's too. You ever go in church and they have all the graduates stand up and you give them a clap? You know what I'm saying? Or they have all the graduates come up on, 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 on stage and let, let everybody honor them and stuff yeah. like that, man. That's nonsense. That's wickedness, man. The pastors these churches are supposed to be warning our people, man. But they're not doing it. It says nobody... Be in debt. That's right. Nobody's gonna be in debt in a minute. <laughs> right. You know. But I'm gonna finish it out. Yeah. Finish it this out. is Ecclesiastes nine and twelve. For man also know of not his time. Yeah. Like, cry aloud, spare not. That's right. Lift up your voice like a trumpet, because man don't know his time, man. That's right. So we sent forth to warn our people of the pending destruction <laughs> that's gonna befall America, man. That's right. AKA Babylon, the land that's of confusion, right. man. That's right. Go ahead. <laughs> it's like you going to war. And you know you got a little fake little plastic knives and uh, swords and Walmart right. kids you playing with. That's what this war is giving you what to go go to go to war with. Right. When the men of Lord giving you spiritually a metal sword. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. You show up to the battle with a little plate, a little play yeah. sword, man. You finish. Come on, come on, come on, <laughs> come on man. Look, these people don't say gonna know what the hell. Look, man, it's gonna come suddenly, bro. Yep. Make no terror to turn back to the Lord, man. Okay. You know? Okay. Go ahead, bro. It's Ecclesiastes 9 and 12. For man also know of not his time as the fishes that are taken in an evil net. Right. And as the birds that are caught in a snare. In the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time when it shall fall suddenly upon them. And that's when all hell going to break loose, man. Yep. It's going to break loose suddenly upon these people. They ain't going to know what to do, man. Yep. The college is not getting them ready yep. for hell breaking loose, man. Shit, this world, oh yeah, bro, hold on um, First Thessalonians, bro, 5 yep, and 3. Because yep, 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 the only thing yep. this place is teaching our people is peace and safety. That's why everybody's walking around all comfortable, bro. Yep. Like ain't nothing going on, man. Yep. But a whole lot is going on, man. Nuclear war deals are going down right about now. Yep. Missiles are being built. Missiles are being fired. Yep. Missiles are being tested. War games, so yep. forth and so on. But everybody's walking, walking around telling us, um, I, my degree, you know, says it's worth more than your degree. Come right. on, man. Right. That day gonna come, man. Ready for it? Yeah. This is uh, First Thessalonians five and three. Right. But when they shall say. Peace and safety. Huh? We're gonna make America great again. You know what I'm saying? Go to college, get you a better job. Mm -hmm. You know, you deserve more. That's pretty much people saying peace and safety, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. There's sudden destruction coming upon them. There you go again. Sudden destruction. We're hearing that word sudden a whole lot right mm -hmm. quick. This sudden destruction. Man, it catches off guard, man. Well, BMW gonna deliver you from, from all hell breaking right. loose. <laughs> See, these people are riding around very prideful. We're not kind of like the rich area, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Of the city. So, so pretty much everybody that's walking through got money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If they ain't got money, their parents got money. You know what I'm saying? Look, uh, uh, spoiled breasts, bro. Yeah. The majority of these people are spoiled breasts. They ain't never went a day without food, but they gonna feel it though, bro. That's right. 
They're going to go without food soon come, man. Because exactly. definitely stress is going to fall suddenly upon them, man. That's right. That's it on that. It's first, first Thessalonians 5 and 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, that sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. Right. And they shall not escape. That's right. And like the brother put on the comment board, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Han Duncan. Most of these, uh, these buildings, you know what I'm saying? And these businesses are closing down. Yeah. Ain't nobody watching except for the man of the Lord. We the only ones to see what the hell is going on. It's all through the spirit of your house by Shimia Shot, man. That's, that's right. the end of that, bro. That was it. Get, get Micah two and ten. You want to bring that up? This is been holding it for a while. This is the book of Micah chapter two, verse ten. Right. It says, "Arise ye in the port, for this is not your rest." See, the scripture is telling you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, arise, man. Come out of the philosophies and the customs of these heathens. America is not your rest. Was brought over here for punishment, captivity, man. Hardship right. for going off, for turning our backs on the God of the Bible, man. This is not our rest, man. America's not our rest. Do not get comfortable here. That's why the God of the Bible got the ups and the downs. Like the God of the Bible got us on our toes, bro. That's right. Because he's about to come and visit the place which he made, man. That's right. The Lord's about to come visit this place soon. Come with definite structure, man. That's Sears right. and Macy, like like minded said, you know? God. Sears and Macy, all these different malls and all that's closing down. These kids ain't gonna have no jobs, man. That's right. They're gonna come out of college being in heavy debt, man. Right. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, this is Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye in the park, for this is not your rest. It's all about them, though, right, bro? Right. It's all about them. Just not even knowing. Nobody ain't paying attention to what's going on. God. It's all about them, right? Yep. You didn't look, bro, they're eating now, all these different restaurants. They're coming through. You got mad food, you know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> He spent him a guap tonight, you know what I'm saying? He spent right. him a, him a guap, but hey, you know what it is, though, bro. When they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction, you know? Kind. The middle. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Outside for you, yeah, right? You yeah. already know you already you know me, brother. Yeah. This is Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye in the park, for this is not your rest. This ain't our rest. Do not get comfortable here in America, man. Right. Go ahead. Because it is polluted. Because look, Bojangles gonna close. What is, what is, how y'all be saying it, bro? Opening day, closing day. Yeah, grand opening, grand closing. Yeah, grand opening, grand closing. Church's chicken ain't gonna always be open, yo. I be love some church's chicken, that greasy stuff. It's not gonna always be open, man. The Waffle House is not gonna always be open, my man. You know? Target is getting ready to close down. All these retail yeah. stores, man. Yeah. JC Penney's, Target. What's that one to be up in New York and all that? That big shit. Macy's, Macy's, yeah. Macy's and them other stores gonna close down soon. Come man, the Apple Store, yeah, yeah. all that man. That's why the scripture say, "Arise in the park for this is not our rest." That's right. And like you know, that nigga gonna love some Waffle House. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yep. Go ahead. It's uh, Micah two and ten. It says, "Because it's polluted, it should destroy you even with the sword destruction." Right. This place is polluted, and it's gonna destroy you, man. Mm -hmm. The ways of America has destroyed our people. Right. Yeah, every time they go to college, they get them tattoos, they get more tattoos, they get more piercings, all that, man. Yep. They don't teach you to fear the God of the Bible, man. They become that true demon that, that that's, that's been dwelling in them. Man. Right. You know, that's why that's that's what people go and find themselves like, off in college, man. Right. You know. Yep. They um, find their inner self, right, bro? Yeah. They find that true demon who they who they right. been, been, been storing up. And the showing them come out. Yep. I got one. Go ahead. It's the same Matthew 24 and 6. We'll bring out three more, bro. We'll bring out Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Yours, and then one more. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Yeah. Right. That'll bring a script out on fear. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And the God of the Bible requires them to get a college education, bro. You know right. what I'm saying? We're right. going to prove according to the Bible. Get yours first, though, bro. Okay. That's the same Matthew 24 and 36. Right. It says, But the day and hour know of no man. Right. No, not the angels of heaven. But my father owned it. Right. But 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 I feel that they live in a comfortable life. Yep. But they don't know, man. Death and destruction is gonna come. Okay. Go ahead. It says verse 37, Matthew 24 and 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Right. And what's what was going on in the days of Noah? Noah was preaching. Mm -hmm. Everybody else was ignoring the word. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And verse 38. For as in the days that were before the flood. They were eating and drinking. And that's what the people walking past us doing. No, ain't nothing but enough if, bags. If we paying the camera around, ain't nothing but stores on the side of us, man. Look, enough bags. People eating, drinking, like bro said, enough bags, man. You know? Everybody bagged out. These people gonna right. be ashamed, man. They, they oh yeah, bro. Hold, hold what you got, bro. Kind. Bring this up right there. Yeah, the same things is going on in no times going on now, man. 
the, uh, uh, we represent Noah, you know, as the prophets through the spirit and power you have by Shemuel Bashad, you know, being ignored, people are eating, drinking, right? You know, same thing going on, man. Right. It says in the days of Noah, right? Same right. Matthew chapter 10, verse 32. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, mm -hmm. when they were Noah doing, yep. Noah's confessing mm -hmm. you how about Shemuel Shah to our people, man. That's right. You know? It says, um, him shall, him will I confess also before my father, which is in heaven, man. So, so Lord Yahweh Shaka, this written in red, he was confessing Moses, you know what I'm saying? He was confessing Noah to the heavenly father, man. I look at your servant down there, warning them people. They ain't taking heed, right? You know? That's why Noah was taken care of, man. Because he was confessing Yahweh by Shemel Shah before the whole world, right? Right. Look, but whosoever shall deny me before men, and that's what our people do. They deny the words of Yahweh, but Shemel Shah. You got the men of our nation, they scared to go out there to the highways and byways. Scared of what? Look, they, they ain't scared to go to college, though. Right. But they're scared, you know what I'm saying, to go out there to the highways and byways. Cause you got these college kids, they know about that. They know they're Israelites, man. Some of them know they're Israelites, man. The, the social media is flooded with, with Israelite knowledge, man. Yep. You know? But they ain't trying to confess the Lord, you know what I'm saying, right. before the face of these people because they're ashamed, bro. That's right. And another thing, our people now are ashamed to stand on the corners and on the blocks and sell dope. Right. You know what I'm saying? They ain't ashamed to go to that frat house um, party. Right. You know what I'm saying? And drink right. all them kegs of beer and all this right. shit and act a fool and fall out on the ground, bro, and um, right. get put on a video right. acting a fool. They, look, they ain't afraid of that, man. Right. And father, kids get to promote their father. Get to just walk around. You know what I'm saying their parents ain't around. Look, look, just um, young, dumb, and living free, right, bro? Right. right. Young and free, right? You know what I'm saying? Just pressing around, young and free. <laughs> you know? So our people ain't gonna confess you have about Shemuel Shai, man, to the world because they're ashamed, man. Right. The scripture said again, but whosoever shall deny me before men, mm -hmm. him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven, man. So the ones is not seeking your how about shimmy out shot. What 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 the Lord what your how shot like confessing you to the most high your out? Right. You know? You ain't doing it for him? Yeah. You know, it's gonna say don't be ashamed That's of right. the gospel, man. So go read finish what you had, bro. Come on, this is uh back in Matthew 24 and 38. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating, drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage. Right. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Everything that you see going on there. That's why the scripture said there ain't nothing new up under the sun. Right. They eating, they drinking, they giving in the marriage, they shopping their asses off, yeah. bro, target bags That's everywhere. Right. You know, just pressing up and down the street, riding on um, those scooters. Those scooters through the city, you <laughs> know what I mean, bro? Everybody just driving around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's all good though. God. A day gonna come and it's gonna burn like an oven though, man. That's right. A day gonna come, it's gonna burn like another. I think this is the first week of college, get warm yeah. back. And best believe somebody's around somewhere, uh, popping somebody. Yeah, yeah. You know, getting, getting married. Yep. You know, having sex. You got them mass murderers and thieves and all that plot too. You know Lurking. what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they, they know the freshmen on the scene, don't know what they have going on. You walk around, we're going to turn around the wrong corner, they're gonna run into Jason, man. What did David say? Fresh meal. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> the scripture said, I'm saying, uh, man, North, not his time. That's right. You know, you're coming out that dorm room, you got Jason, I'm saying, standing in the hallway, That's right. waiting on you, coming right. come up under that tone and all that, he's waiting on you. You know, you ain't gonna know what to do. Okay. You'll call on mama, mama ain't gonna be there. <laughs> right. Go ahead. Yeah, that nonsense. I mean, you know, entertain that nonsense. Go ahead, though. Yeah, St. Matthew 24 and 39. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. Right. Then they knew that the men of the Lord was out there on the highways and byways. They knew Noah was teaching the truth when that flood came. They're going to know that the men, no saying, of the Lord, no saying, was on the highways and byways when all hell break loose, man. Right. Then they're going to consider, bro. But right now, it's too much going on, bro. Right. It's too much going on. But I got a precept for you since you read that. Yeah. This is Ezekiel chapter 2, verse, um, uh, let me see. I just wanted to hit the point. Yeah, five. And they, whether they were here or whether they were forbear, no one was in a mind state like this too, bro. I'm gonna go preach the word regardless if they're here forbear, right? That's right. And they, whether they were here or whether they were forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there had been a prophet among them. Yeah, so when all hell break loose and they're in a concentration camp right. or, and they're starving from a famine, right. they'll know that the wisdom of this world was foolish then. That's right, bro. You know, they're going to know they should have been getting down with the wisdom and knowledge understanding of the scriptures, man. They're going to know it very well, right, bro? <laughs>
<laughs> they gonna know it very well. In that day. And it's good to say the men, the, the Most High, gonna mock you in that day, That's man. Right. That's right. Gonna mock you in that day, man. That's right. You better put up sodish. That's right. Right. Very stupid, man. Mm -hmm. You know, retarded, man. You know, kind of. college is only for fools anyway, man. That's right. You know. That's right. Go ahead, bro. Finish it out. Say Matthew 20, 24 and 39. Yeah. It says, and knew not until the flood came and took them all the way. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Right. And, and that's going to be a, that's the day we're waiting on, man, that we longing for, patiently waiting for, man. Yeah. That day that's going to come, it's going to burn like a oven, man. You people are going to be missile fools soon come, man. Right. They ain't got nothing to do, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Parents, parents spend all this damn money. Yeah, yeah. I will also laugh when your calamity come. Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying? It's nobody. We're just walk around. Nobody. You know what I'm saying? Feeling it. So talking about nothing. Right. These people ain't talking about nothing. If you ain't talking about your how about your mouth shine in the kingdom of heaven, being a star on earth, then you ain't talking about nothing, man. That's right. You got anything else, bro? Yeah, I mean, I'm in Deuteronomy 10. Yeah. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. And now Israel. What do the Lord thy power require of thee? See, Israel, people before us, the place is talking about you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. The one of our people that don't take heed to this word. We're, we're, one more after that, bro, we get on um, Second um, Chronicles, 30. Second Chronicles 15 and 13. 13. After you read that, okay. yep, it's Deuteronomy 10 and, and 12. Right. And now, Israel. What do the Lord thy power require of thee? Right. What does a God of the Bible require from you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians? Look up the definition of require, bro, right quick. Okay. Baba Kasha. Yeah. It says require. Cause we got requirements, man, that we got to live up to. We're going to look up the definition of require right quick. Let's see if it, it requires us to go to college, bro. Look at them all, all in love, bro. Look at them, bro. Let's see. All uh, in love. Can't get away from each other, uh, right? That's what I'm saying, man. Get what I'm saying, bro. Get her. Right. Bro. Right. Get her done. No right. saying, bro. Require is a verb. It says uh it says need, be in need of. Look, these are the things that we it's getting ready to go into the things that the Israelites need to do. That's right. It's no a, saying now um I, I think about doing. Right, consider. No saying, you know, these are the things that we need to do, man. That's right. It's a requirement. Okay. It says uh, stand in need of, have need of, uh, essential, necessary. Damn, these mandatory. are the things that are necessary, man. Mandatory. Mm -hmm. It's a meaning. It's a must. Right. That's pretty much it. Okay. So it's Deuteronomy ten and twelve. And now Israel, what doeth the Lord thy power require thee? Right. But to fear the Lord thy power. That's the main ingredient right there. Fear, man, okay. which is the beginning of knowledge. You know. Shalom, shalom. Hey, look, fearing the God of the Bible, shalom, man. brother. You know? All you brothers, kind. Yep. It says uh, to walk in all his ways and to love him. To walk in all his ways, which college doesn't promote that. Right. College doesn't promote you to fear the God of the Bible. Okay. College don't require you to keep the commandments of the Bible to the best of your ability. Go ahead. It says and to walk in all his ways and and to love him, to serve him, right? To serve the Lord thy power with all thy heart. That's right. And with all thy soul. Go ahead. That was it. Some more. Come. Verse 13. To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day right. for thy good. And these are the requirements for you Israelites, man. To do everything that the scripture said do, man. Because mm -hmm. if you're not doing what the scripture just said, it's uncivilized. Okay. You know what I'm saying, bro? Okay. Charles Barkley told you that. You know what I'm saying? Years That's ago. Right. That's right. You know. Somebody must have did something. You got the um, police group flying that way. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh, um, right. Campus police just flying that way. Right. They're going to wear these campus police to damn death right. this year. Right. You know what I'm saying? Bro, they're going to be zoom, 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 zoom. Right. How? How? Zoom, 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 zoom. Yeah, let us see the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the most high. You how about Shimei was shot, man. That's right. And keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Right. Look, ain't got folly just jumping up and down. Folly, man. Setting great thing. The college promotes folly, man. Yeah. Foolish acts, man. <laughs> Unwise actions, man. Yeah. We'll finish off with that, bro. The Second Chronicles 15 and 13. Right. That whosoever would not seek the Lord power of Israel should be put to death. Yeah. Whoever, you Israelites, whoever, every one of y'all that ain't seeking the God of the Bible, you how about Shemiel Shah, is going to be put to death, man. But I was I was taught that to, to, to seek college. Right. To, to seek my Higher learning. Higher learning. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> you know, because you know Nate them teach you to go to college yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. You got Nate them, they be on these college campuses 
campus yeah. is recruiting these people, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They'll really be on the highway and byways. You know what I'm saying? Every now and then. Go yeah. ahead. This is uh, Second Chronicles 15 and 13. Oh, yeah. That's why. That's why the um the wicked Sadducees and Pharisees looked at, at the Apostle Peter. You know what I'm saying? The Apostle yeah. um John and Paul and all the rest of them because they was earn learned men yeah, like, and go to college. Yeah, like you know, like. That's why they look at us and talk about what college did y'all graduate yeah, from? Yeah. None, man. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? God. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, it's 2 Chronicles 15 and 13. That whosoever would not seek the Lord power of Israel should be put to death. Right. Whether small or great, whether man or woman. That's right. Whether man or woman, whether small or great. Whether you got a college tuition, all these plaques, all these different accolades, if you're not fearing the God of the Bible, you're going to die soon come. Men or women, there's no respect to person. I guess some have it because you see them little things that be blinking. Oh, that's a light, right? That's a light. They're blinking. Yeah. Usually be something on campus, you know, some of them things, right? That be blinking. Yeah, that be blue. It's alert or whatever. Yeah, when they oh, yeah. Blue, yeah. Man, that one blew back there. That ain't blinking, though, I don't uh, think. This man, it's just, it's just folly, man. God. Get out of those colleges, man. Come back to your how about Shimi Arashad, the God of the heavens and the earth, man. You know? God. What do you say? Um, come visit something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll, 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 we'll talk about it later. No, I'm saying not on the comment board, though. God. But Lord willing, I'm saying the elect of the nation of Israel was edified, man. That's right. Co college is, um, uh, is a racket, man. Yep. You know? It just puts you in heavy debt, man. Once again, the wisdom of this world is foolish to the most high, man. <laughs> Barbie doll. You know what I'm saying, right. bro? These people, these people are gonna um gonna get a rude awakening soon, right, right, man. Right. Gotta close the comments, bro. Nah, I mean that's pretty much it, man. You know. Hey, just want to do it pretty much an open forum. Brother was able to link up, man. So Lord willing, the elect is edified. You know what I'm saying? Get your asses out of college and get to the streets where that knowledge is at, man. God. And with that, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, yeah. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and Next double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. God. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sit and I can, man. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith for God. Some people here for a bit, right? That's right. We do want to bring out one more, though, bro. Get um Isaiah 33 and 6, bro. Yep. Got to bring that out right quick. Yep. The Lord said, bring out this last one. Yep. You know, the nail in the coffin. You know what I'm saying, bro? Because this is what's going to nail it right here. Yep. It's Isaiah 33 and 6. Right. And wisdom and knowledge. Shall be the stability of thy time. Look, not the college knowledge, right. not the college wisdom, right. not the college understanding, right. but the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the Bible shall be a what, bro? Shall be the stability of thy time. This is what's going to keep you stable when all hell break loose. The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, man. That's right. Some more, bro. And strength of salvation. Right. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Hey, look, knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures is what's going to keep you stable, Israel. Mm -hmm. Not college. Right. Shalom. Shalom.